Welcome to Granada Reports, live from Liverpool's Tate Gallery. This morning, the Prince of Wales took to the water of the historic Albert Dock, 141 years after his great-great-great-grandfather first declared the docks open. He was here, of course, for the official opening of the northern branch of the Tate Gallery. I've been following the event, of course, throughout the day, and in a minute we'll bring you a preview of uh, a full report of the Prince's visit as he toured the Albert Dock and pondered some of the exhibits. We'll take a sneak preview of the work on okay. show. When the Prince of Wales formally reopened the dock complex. The Royal Yacht steamed through into the Albert Dock itself and the population of Liverpool crowded the riverfront, overflowing into every available small craft which could be launched upon the river. So wrote a contemporary journalist when Prince Albert opened the Albert Dock on July the 30th, 1846. 141 years later, his great-great-great-grandson, the Prince of Wales, retraced his steps when he officially reopened the dock setting the seal on one of the most startling examples of post-war urban regeneration. So what we see today here has been a unique partnership between the Merseyside Development Corporation, the Arrowcroft Group, the trustees of National Museums and Galleries on Merseyside, the trustees of the Tate Gallery and Granada Television. And I think that they have done a remarkable piece of work and are to be and warmly After unveiling a plaque, the Prince visited the newest riverside wing of the dock complex, seeing an exhibition.